play gently. Making sure these are all coming out of this little area right here, because that's where they're all going to want to run. So now that these are out, go ahead and just connect everything up. So that's the speed sensor right there. Go into the motor. And then we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in. If I can find it. And this is the gray plug, not the purple plug. Purple plug does not get used. If you plug it into the purple plug, it will not turn on. So now we're going to do the power. After I spin it the wrong way. Yep. Boom. Okay. Now that that's all in there, we just want to make it so that it sits under the guard that's going to go over this. Okay. Now, we're going to get some of our parts. It's going to be these the main bolts that hold everything in. One, two, two. Three. Let's start with the third one because it's easy. And I'm gonna go to the first one. It's all the way in. Won't go in. No problem. We get five millimeter. Tappy tap tap. Okay, now come back over to this side. So there, we've got the washers and the nuts. Now we're gonna take washer, put it on there, take a nut, put it right on there too. And just get them finger tight. Do that for all three. Okay, and the front one, which is a little tricky. It's hiding. Alright. Now, get 13 mil and the 5 mil. Come over to the top, so you can see that I'm doing all this. Mm, tight. Same for the second. And for the last one. And I'm getting a phone call. You get a close up of me with a wrench because you see how kind of difficult it is to get this in here until it butts up against that. It's more than tight enough to get that attached. 
It's going to be these bolts, this guard, and we're going to be using the T10, which is the only thing people will probably have to buy, because this is not in every household. And so then if you want to show me putting this on, that sits over like this. Take a tiny little bolt and stick it through. And you just start them all off. And then once you have all of them started, you can go ahead and start from the middle and torque them out. Now it'll keep this from rattling something fierce. And that's just till they feel nice and snug. You don't want to break anything. then after that it's going to be these four bolts and this and that just simply drops in here three mil three mil not completely tight because it's a uh, Gonna want to move around on you. See, sometimes you gotta wiggle this into place. And then. Jump to a four mil for these ones. And like all the other ones, you start them, get them centered around the actual guard. Make sure these all thread properly because you can bust the little uh, rib nuts out of this frame. You're torquing on it too hard. Nice and snug. Now we're gonna go to the chain ring. So that's the chain ring and all your bolts. It may be a different color. Do not fret. Now this one's tricky. You gotta kinda feed it on there. Get your bolt, your nut, press this into the back side, and thread this in the top. Hold in the back of it with your finger, keep it from spinning, and then do the exact same all the way around. Yep. And this is where we will lose some people because this is actually <laughs> kind of hard. And then these ones, you just hold the back and tighten. I like to do them just across from each other. Alright. 
Now it's time for the cranks with the pedals attached. So there is a right and a left. Make sure you get it right, otherwise your pedals will fall off. Left side on the left, and then right side on the right. 